Today we're going to talk about adjusting PID loops for suction control valves, recycle valves, or back pressure valves in the DE3000 from Ultronic. To access the menu, we're going to simply push next and it's going to ask us for the password. The default password is one, so now we push enter. It says correct. Now we're going to push next to continue. We're in channel one, analog output one. Analog output one is looking at channel one to figure out if it's at the set point or in relation to the set point, where is it at, high or low. We can see that our current pressure from channel one is 16.3 pounds. Our desired set point is 25 pounds. Our proportional is at 120%. Our integral is at 20 seconds. And our derivative is at 999 minutes. Now let's recap this real quick. Proportional is the action of the control now. Meaning, I'm out of calibration. I need to get to the 25 how quick am I going to correct this problem? 120% is very slow acting. The lower the value, the faster this thing's going to try to track in. We can also see that our output currently right now is at 100%. It's in auto. While we're at auto, if I want to toggle it to manual, I can push F1. And now I can use my up down arrows to change that value. This would be for testing purposes only. I'm going to put it back in to auto. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to push enter to move my cursor down to 120 and I'm going to lower that value. In most cases for controlling a pneumatic control valve with a P I to P converter, we like to lower this number first. I usually start at about 50%. Now what I can do is I can change the suction pressure To just above and we can see that the valve really starts moving down but it's still very very sluggish if this was the real world the pressure keeps going if the valve can't close and we could have a problem the longer I leave it here the faster this number will start coming in because of integral. Integral is kind of the past, meaning, hey, I need to be closed because I have 29.7 pounds, but I only have a 25 pound target and I'm not there. The pressure keeps climbing. I'll raise it a little bit more. You can see that the valve's now at 50%, so it's moving very, very slow. So now I'm going to push enter and move my cursor to integral and I'm going to drop integral down to about 10 as my default. And you've already seen, wow, we're at six, we're, we're closed, 0%. The valve is now closed. So in the real world, the pressure would be slamming closed. I'm going to drop down to Okay, look, you see how quick it's coming up now? That's a very fast, responsive valve. The further I get away from my target, the more it's going to move open. If the pressure comes up, it starts immediately dropping down. 
The derivative is a means to control an overshoot, trying to overshoot the target. However, in most cases, there's so many other mechanical things going on with a control valve because of the speed of your I to P controlling a zero to 30 pound signal to a diaphragm on a motor valve and the actual motor valve moving, you never have an overshoot problem. The system is designed to constantly be correcting. However, you can play with the derivative. In most cases, when I'm setting one up in the field, I always leave it at 999. If you want to change it, simply do the same thing. Enter to move the cursor in front. Use the up, down, or left, right arrows to change the value. Once you're done, enter. Use the enter key to move back up to set point and then you can simply escape out. Hope this helps guys.